Did you know Argo CD has become one of the top three most popular observability tools in the CNCF ecosystem? With the ability to show real-time cluster state, view the logs of pods, and even provide web access to the container console, it makes Argo CD one of the most powerful Kubernetes dashboards. Let me show you some examples. So from the Argo CD UI, you can see the live state of the top level resources that are defined in Git, but also the health and status of the resources generated by those top level resources. So taking a look at the deployment, for example, you can see the health status of the deployment, but also the corresponding replica set and the pods within that replica set. The Argo CD UI allows you to quickly understand the health of your application and the resources that comprise it, and also allows you to click into those resources to view the live manifests of those resources, the previous events on them, the log stream from the containers of your deployments. You can even go as far as interacting with the live resources in your cluster to say, restart your deployment generating a new replica set, rolling out a new set of pods, and you can see that happening in real time. This is a huge advantage for application developer teams that need to understand what resources comprise their application and the health and status of those resources to quickly get an understanding of if their application is healthy. One of the principles driving Argo CD's design is to stay laser focused on the main use case, empowering developers to manage and troubleshoot applications deployed to Kubernetes. This means Argo CD's UI is solely focused on visualizing the resources of one application at a time, leaving little room for other use cases such as security and cost analysis. Imagine you've learned about a vulnerable container image and you need to discover and upgrade all of the deployments across all of your clusters that are running that image. Argo CD is positioned perfectly to solve this use case. It already collects all of the information relating to these workloads in the clusters that it manages. It has the information about the images used and it has a direct link back to where those images are defined in your manifests in Git. The problem here is that Argo CD's user interface is application management centric. So in order to go and track down this vulnerable container image in your clusters, you would need to analyze each application individually, which is extremely cumbersome. And a vulnerable image is just one of the most obvious examples from a very long list of possible scenarios, such as which of the applications across my clusters is the most CPU and memory hungry? Do I have resource requests that are too low and might be CPU throttled? Are there replicas of the same service running on the same node in the same availability zone, compromising its high availability? Argo CD already has all of the data to answer these questions, but it does not have the dashboards to be able to visualize this information for platform administrators and application developers. This is where the Acuity platform comes in. The Acuity platform's agent-based architecture streamlines the ability to have a single Argo CD instance managing many Kubernetes clusters across different cloud providers, different networks with ease. This also means that the Acuity platform is uniquely positioned to take advantage of this data across all of your Kubernetes clusters and visualize it for you to gain these additional insights. Hello and welcome. I'm Nicholas Mori, a senior developer advocate at Acuity, the enterprise Argo company founded by the creators of the Argo project. Today, we're introducing CubeVision, a new feature of the Acuity platform that exposes the data collected by Argo CD and provides custom-made tailored dashboards that focus on the various use cases that I covered previously. Users of the Acuity platform will get all of the functionality of CubeVision conveniently by just turning it on. This is taking advantage of the fact that our Argo CD already collects all of this information. The CubeVision feature allows you to simply visualize and take advantage of that information. So by going to settings, going to the CubeVision feature and enabling it for your Kubernetes clusters managed by your Argo CD instance on the Acuity platform, you can start taking advantage of the valuable insights provided by Cube Vision. Once enabled, you can go to the Cube Vision tab on your QD platform dashboard and start exploring the resources managed across all of the clusters under this Argo CD instance. 
What we've been hearing from our customers is that the number one thing they care about in their infrastructure is their deployments. And that's why CubeVision is tailored for visibility for deployments, not infrastructure. And what we've heard is that this visibility into deployments with a developer-focused view provides insane value for answering the questions like, am I running any vulnerable container images? Which workloads across my clusters are running this particular container image and tag? Do I have any workloads in my clusters with resource requests that are way too high or limits that are way too low. So the Explorer view of the CubeVision dashboard allows you to filter down resources in Kubernetes. From there, you can click through to child resources, see a history of those resources, and dig into valuable information from those resources. This view shows you at a high level the namespace and cluster that the resources are running in. For the deployments view, it shows you how many replicas are ready, up to date, and available the age of the deployment, and it even shows you the health status and sync status of the Argo CD application that manages that deployment. If I want to filter down to just, re just deployments in the Helm guestbook namespace, I can click here, and now I can see my Helm guestbook deployments across all of my clusters. If I want to see only the deployments in my prod cluster, I can click there, and now I'm filtered down to just the Helm guestbook deployment in my prod cluster. If I click in this deployment, I can see the live manifest. I can view the logs for this deployment. If I wanna go and view the child resources of this deployment, I can filter down by it. And then I'm presented with the replica sets for my deployment. I can see the history of the replica sets and also the most current live resource. If I filter down by that, I can see the pods that are running under that replica set. From there, I can click into an individual pod to show the containers that are running it, which will take me into the containers view of the CubeVision dashboard. From here, I can easily see the status of this container. I can see the limits and resource requests for it. This view is especially useful for finding the most expensive workloads based on the resource requests. If I remove the individual pod filter here on the containers view, I can then go and filter down by the resource request to see which one is the most expensive. If I click into an individual container here, I can see the logs from that container. I can also see which image it's running. And if I click on the image that it's running, I can navigate over to the images view of the CubeVision dashboard. From here, I can get a link out to the container registry that's hosting this image. I can see the digest for it. I can also see the number of containers that are running this specific image. And down here below, I can see each of those containers in the list. And if I wanna go and investigate this specific container image, I can click into that and it'll go and it'll take me to the logs of that running container, which brings me back to the containers view of CubeVision. The images view is really convenient for seeing how many containers and filtering down into which containers are running a specific container image and tag across all of the clusters managed by this Argo CD instance. This is really valuable for if I know that there's a vulnerability in my specific image, I can go and filter down, find that image and discover exactly which containers are running that image. And then from there, I could also go and navigate to the Argo CD application that's managing those workloads and I know where to go and make that update in Git. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg. We have an extensive roadmap for this that will continue to expand the functionality of CubeVision to improve the developer focused view for deployment visibility. This roadmap includes enriching the dataset collected by Argo CD with additional information from third party sources including integrating with vulnerability scanning tools to provide information about, vulner about vulnerable images and workloads across your clusters. KubeVision will be able to integrate with the metric server that's commonly deployed to Kubernetes clusters to provide real-time data on CPU and memory usage of workloads. This means adding real-time metrics that can enable use cases such as identifying memory and CPU hungry workloads and discovering if workload resource requests are too low. Additionally, the Acuity platform will be introducing a timeline feature that allows you to see the history of workload-related changes and correlate them with events in the cluster. 
This timeline feature will be invaluable for troubleshooting issues and understanding the impact of changes for platform administrators and application developers. If you like this video, check out the rest of the Acuity Platform channel for more Argo CD and Argo project related content. If you're new to Argo CD and would like to learn more, check out the links in the description down below for our free self-paced course for getting started with Argo CD. I'm always happy to connect on LinkedIn and chat about anything cloud native related. Check out the links in the description down below to connect with me. Mm -hmm.